because I was drenched in sweat. And to be honest, it was getting a little rank in my armpits. So I recently had a baby and my mom came down to visit to help with the baby. Keep in mind, my mom is Vietnamese. She's from Vietnam. And in Vietnamese culture, there's a shit ton of stuff that you can and cannot do. So months before I even had the baby, my mom was already like trying to prep me with her traditions. So for one, apparently in Vietnamese culture, after you have a baby, you're not supposed to shower for a month. Shower meaning like with shampoo and soap and stuff so you can still like wash yourself off with just water. So my mom was telling me that I couldn't wash my hair for a month. I can barely go like a week without washing my hair. Another thing she said that I'm not allowed to do after I have the baby, I'm not allowed to drink anything cold. And what's the first thing the hospital does right after I have the baby? Gives me cold juice. My mom is telling me I'm not allowed to drink it. I drank it. My mom said in Vietnamese culture, you're literally not supposed to go anywhere, do anything for a whole month. Like when she was here, all I wanted was to step outside to get some fresh air. And she was like, no! Viz couldn't believe the amount of rules she had to follow, but she would quickly realize there were even more rules to follow. You don't even want to get me started on like what kind of foods and things I had to eat. So overall, my mom and I had to come to compromises about some things. Because for one, luckily for me, after I gave birth, I was not in a lot of pain. And I very much wanted to be involved with taking care of the baby other than just like feeding her. Because she said that that's all I'm supposed to be doing. Nothing else, like literally not even changing her or nothing. I'm literally just supposed to feed her. Like I said, I did not just want to do that. I wanted to like actually take care of her too. I definitely washed my hair and took a shower like the next day after I had a baby because I was drenched in sweat and to be honest, it was getting a little rank in my armpits. I did eat all the food and the drinks that my mom made, but I also still had my water and my cold drinks and I also did step outside because I needed some fresh air. Not only that, she came into my house and started moving stuff, rearranging the house, and it was stressing me out so bad. So in the nicest way possible, I'm so happy that my mom finally went home after I had a baby. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. After her story, Viz was asked to talk more about her culture, and she was happy to share some more interesting facts about it. So typically in Asian culture, especially if you live in America, you will have an American name and then your Asian name. If you're in my case, I'm Vietnamese and Chinese. So technically I have three names. And growing up, I really wish that I liked my Asian names more. But you know, when you're the only Asian person in school, you don't really want to focus on that. But now that I'm older and I'm appreciating my culture, I love my Asian name. So I'm trusting you guys. Do not call me by my government name after I tell you. If you do, I'll block you. But it's Victoria. And I've gotten all the jokes. Queen Victoria. Oh, Victoria, what's your secret? Shut up. But my Vietnamese name is Lin Yu. If you translate that into Cantonese, it's Lin Yi. And what that means is, whatever you desire, you shall receive. That's just so much better than Victoria. Like, I can't, why can't Western names be more like that? Like, the is Victoria. Like, I don't care about so some of those rules were pretty crazy. It's understandable why Viz was so excited when her mum finally moved out of her house. The comment section was filled with people from other cultures sharing similar experiences, as well as a lot of hilarious reactions to Viz's mum's rules. One person said, in Mexican culture, you're not even supposed to get out of bed unless it's to go to the bathroom, plus other things from what my mum said. And this lighthearted comment said, me lifting things immediately after having my son. We all wish Viz all the best with raising her child. So do you guys have any similar stories after you or your partner gave birth? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, then please be sure to follow our other social pages for more content like this. And of course, if you have any of your own videos that you'd like to share with us, be sure to send them in. As always, Thanks for watching Happiest. That was quite a mouthful.